today we, they had a closing ceremony in Japan town and then right after they participated in this uh, lantern parade which is part of the celebration of 150th anniversary of the arrival of a uh, Japanese ship that uh, arrived here in 150 years ago. So it's a big celebration and uh, uh, the, the lantern parade was part of it. Kamimaru was a ship from Japan, and it was the part of the first diplomatic mission from Japan to the United States. So it kind of symbolizes the opening up of the relationship between Japan and the U.S. They could witness it, and uh, right now it's a final part of the celebration. Uh, both Odori and uh, people are uh, dancing together, uh, and uh, this is also one of the Japanese cultural activities um, we do in August to welcome the dead, uh, our ancestors' spirits, and uh, uh, we have a re reunion in the month of August, and then then we send them back. It's a great celebration. It's been pretty cool. I mean, the, the dance at the beginning was pretty interesting. They showed us all how to do it. Um, but then after that, there was they led us in this cool this dance with the with the click sticks, whose name I've forgotten. And um, and then they they did a couple other dances. They did the the lion dance, and the lion came out and played with the kids, and that was kind of interesting. And then, and then the parade started, and all the preschoolers marched around, and then the, the larger group of people marched around. Uh, it's a Buddhist festival that honors our ancestors and uh, reminds us of all those people who have passed. And we celebrate joyously uh, and with this communal folk dancing. Well, traditionally in Japan, a number of the festivals around the whole time do involve lanterns. Some of them are floated on the water and they go out to the sea, but it's like the light that draws the spirits. And so it's just, when you look at it, you can see it's very festive and warm. And it, again, it kind of brings us closer to those who are departed.